Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a while and yeah, I wasn't sure what to do today, an update on what's been going on or, you know, something more specific and I thought maybe I'm gonna um, uh, do this video about what supplements I took for my immunity health lately since I came back from um, in the UK uh, after my mother passed away. So as you guys know, um, well, some of you might know that I had the uh, COVID vaccine, the second dose of Pfizer about, I would say a month ago, I think. And before that, I had worked on my immunity a lot because I had problems with my ovarian cysts and, um, you know, I'm trying, I was trying to go on a um, natural way to get rid of them. So I've been taking a lot of immunity supplements uh, before the vaccine. And I was also curious if that's going to help me um, with the vaccine as well, like create more antibodies. Um, and I did have some pretty bad side effects. I was sick for a week. I thought I had COVID, so I had to do a test. It was it came back negative, so they they said it's from the vaccination, and um, I was curious to see if that's related to the number of antibodies my body created. So I think I mentioned in the last video that I'm gonna that I've done um, blood test. I show you my uh, finger um, injury, and um, yeah, I'm glad to say that the results came back. And I'm not sure if you can see this. Um, it's kind of my printer is not very good. Um, but anyway, it's saying that um, uh, I have negative COVID antibodies to the COVID infection itself, which means I never actually had COVID in these uh, two years, which is a bit strange because I was pretty sure I was, I mean, I was hoping I had it and I didn't have any symptoms. I mean, I've been through hospitals a lot with my mom and then I didn't uh, stay at home necessarily when I came back. So I've seen some friends and I've been to some restaurants. So I, I, I always wear masks and I always have sanitizer with me and use it quite frequently every time I touch something in public. But I thought that, you know, you never know. So it's been, it's been um, a while since COVID is around. So... Um, yeah, I thought I did have COVID. I mean, I was hoping I had and didn't have symptoms. It turns out I never had COVID. Um, but then I do have vaccine, the vaccine immunity test antibodies that came back positive. So that means that I have antibodies from the vaccine. And it came back at over 2,500. Um, which apparently is a lot. So there's, uh, yeah, there's not a certain number. It's just over the maximum we can get with the Pfizer and on this website I used um, I think it's called monitor my test this is not a sponsorship by the way it's just what I use because I've seen that they have a partnership with NHS so I thought they're like more uh, accurate and on that website uh, there are only 30% of the people who actually had this result so not as many as you would expect uh, yeah sorry I got distracted um, so, yeah, looks like whatever I took in terms of immunity worked very well. Um, and I should be very protected against COVID if I ever get it. So, quite happy with that. Um, quite happy to note that, you know, the tablets and all the work I put into my health actually worked in something. Um, and, you know, my friends actually asked me for um, kind of... A table of what I've um, I took in the past for my immunity so I thought I'm gonna make this video and go through some of the supplements I took maybe it's gonna help other people uh, but again I'm not a doctor so you know if you really want to make sure that you're on a, a good schedule of supplements um, maybe check with your naturopath or you know your GP or someone who knows about natural supplementation um, because I don't know all the side effects. This is based on what I got and what worked for me, so, you know, I'm sharing my experience, uh, but also double check all the side effects, um, at least yourself, if not with the doctor. Uh, so yeah, so, this is also a combination for the, um, 
high estrogen and ovarian cysts I had. So that was the main reason I took the supplements, but they also turned out to be working for um, COVID as well. Uh, and I think it's mainly because some of them are antiviral, so it's working against many viruses, like even flu or, you know, HPV or um, whatever other viruses are there. So it's very good for uh, viruses in general and it's very good for immunity, you know, to create the T cells and the natural killer cells and immunity overall. So it's not only for a certain thing, it's just helping your um, body and immunity system um, produce all these things that, you know, maybe you don't take enough from veggies. So if you're a person who eats meat more than veggies, then probably some of these minerals, it's not just supplements, it's minerals as well, you won't get from, you know, um, your diet. So, I guess first thing everyone knows, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> everyone knows, so is this vitamin D3, uh, and this is the 4001, uh, and I will say don't take more than 4000 or 5000, uh, because you don't want to overdose, if you overdose you might have very, um, bad problems with your kidney, so be careful even with vitamin D. Um, I used a Triva test, I also had the test from my GP, I think, a while ago, and uh, it came back as, um, not low, but in the, you know, amber yellow section, meaning that I could do better, you know, to bring it to the green uh, section, so because of that I had to supplement more, I knew that my values were not in the high area or in the green area, so I do I, I did have to take some more vitamin D, and this is what I used. Um, if you cannot assimilate vitamin D3, you can add vitamin K2, which is sometimes used. You see some of these uh, bottles; they have vitamin D3 and vitamin K uh, K2 uh, combination. Um, for me, it works without. And you also need to know that vitamin K2, it can create problems with blood clotting. So it can create blood clots. It's not going to create on its own, but because, you know, COVID has the same side effects sometimes, I try to avoid it in case I ever get COVID. I don't want to help it create blood clots in my body, so I didn't take any K2. Um, I don't think the chances are very high, but it's something to keep in your mind. Uh, cool. So that's one. Uh, the next one I got is Quercetin Plus, uh, and this is with vitamin C, and this is actually very used in hospitals now, um, at least in Romania, back home, they use this in hospital for COVID treatment, and it's actually a natural supplement, and that's because it helps with your immunity so well that they give this as a supplementation to the, um, uh, antibiotics or you know the IV they give you if you're like in a very bad state with COVID so my father had COVID and they also gave him uh, Kercetin Plus um, along with some other minerals as well so I think it's very good I used to take it before um, before the vaccine even without not having COVID because it's very good for immunity in general so if you need like a boost of immunity you know this is a very good supplement for that and you know it's helping against COVID as well uh, the third thing, I use the Dim Advantage, and this is again for my estrogen problem, and this is coming from broccoli extract, so it's pretty much broccoli in one capsule, a high amount of broccoli, um, and I got this because it's decreasing the level of estrogen in the body, but also it's a very, very good immunity booster, so it's boosting your immunity, because, come on, we don't eat as much veggies as we should, so this is bringing the beta-carotene very high, and it's helping your body deal with flus and any bacterias and any other uh, problems you get. Um, one point on that, again, maybe you want to do some Triva tests or some thyroid tests, um, so, if you have a high amount of beta-carotene in your body, that might affect your thyroid um, as they work against each other. So, thyroid is an autoimmune problem. Um, so, you need to be careful not to mess up your thyroid. I do have a thyroid nodule and I didn't want to actually make that worse uh, while increasing my immunity. So, I used to take this thyroid support. 
Uh, mine, I think they said it's leaning towards the hypothyroidism more than hyper. So that's why I got this. It's more for hypothyroidism. Do not take this if you have hyperthyroidism. Because it has things like uh, iodine in it. So this is a, a very good support um, help for thyroid. But it helps many many ingredients in it so some of these things I will have taken separately for COVID but because I took this uh, supplement I didn't take it separately so for example zinc zinc is a mineral very good for immunity and they use it as well in Romanian hospital for COVID um, I used to have some liquid drops which I used to put in water but because this supplement already has zinc I didn't take the extra one um, so yeah iodine vitamin B12 these also are very good for immunity in general. Uh, so this one alone has a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals which can help. Um, another thing which I took mainly for my ovarian cysts is natokinas. I'm not sure if this one helps in any way with the immunity. I wouldn't put it down as a helper with COVID. Um, but this is um, kind of dissolving the blood clots and the fibrin in the body. So, you know, even the vaccination itself can create blood clots, so um, maybe it helped with that, I'm not sure. Um, it's pretty much uh, coming from the soy fermented um, in Japan, so the natto beans, um, and it's a natural, so it's a natural supplement. And I think it's the only natural supplement which helps with um, dissolving the blood, the blood clots. Um, on its own but to be honest I took this for about two months I think you need to take it for a very long time to see any effects so you know if you take it for a week probably you won't see any any um, any effects from this um, also be careful that you know if you do the vaccination you're not allowed to take anything which um, increases uh, your problems with blood clotting so I would say I, I took a pause from supplementation around two weeks before the vaccination just to avoid any interaction. So definitely do the same. You don't want to take the supplements at the same time as the vaccine. Took them before, take them before, and then do a, a, um, have a break and then have the vaccination. Um, so yeah, uh, this is very good for even fibrin, like scars in your body. If you have any scars, again, this is going to dissolve some scar, uh, scarring tissue. Um... And yeah, so I took this mainly for blood clotting to avoid the blood clotting. And then because this is decreasing the collagen in your body, I also had like this collagen um, collagen supplement as well to take with it. Uh, the other thing which I think helped, one probably one of the best which helped with the immunity, I think it's um, AHCC. And I think this is, not many people might afford this, this is around 100 quid for a bottle which will last I think two weeks two or three weeks something like this so not a long time so you'll probably need to spend 200 for a month I've been taking this for three months um, and it's basically shiitake mushroom supplement um, and I took it again for my estrogen and for my ovarian uh, problems it's very good for viruses though like HPV um, but also for any other viruses like flu as well so this is um, it's saying on it that significantly improves immune response Maintains peak natural killer selectivity, supported by over 30 human studies. And I know about this because, you know, when I was researching for my mom during chemo, in Japan, they give you this as a chemo um, supplement to help you with the immunity in general and with the side effects from it. Uh, so it's very good, but, you know, because it's so expensive, I would say maybe you can take another... Uh, mushroom supplement like reishi or you know a combination of mushrooms uh, which should have the same effect uh, or a similar effect maybe not as good but around there and it's a lot cheaper so you know if not shiitake mushroom just look for some reishi mushroom or some other supplement which is helping with the immunity and this is one of the only one which actually promotes the T cell increase uh, and T cells are very important for immunity so I'm just gonna read what it says on it so, maintain optimal natural killer selectivity, enhance cytokine production, promote optimal T selectivity, promote optimal macrophage activity, 
um, increase the activity and number of dendritic cells. So he's doing a lot of miraculous things uh, in this small bottle. So I think that helped a lot with my immunity. But I've been taking that. So all these supplements I took for about three months. Um, I think you need to take them a long time to actually see any any effects from them. Just because it's not the, it's not working the same way as the, you know, antibiotics or any uh, medication you get from the hospital. Like these things are natural, so you know. It's the same like eating veggies. You can't eat ve veggies. You can't go on a vegetarian diet for like a week and see any body difference because that's not how it's happening. You need to eat veg um, veggies for a long time to see any, you know, energy um, boosting effects or, <coughs> sorry, um, any effects from, you know, the new diet. Um, that aside, I also have something similar, which is cheaper. This is IP6 and ino inositol. Inositol is some kind of vitamin B. And this is kind of similar to this, it's just cheaper. So the advantage is that this also helps with the T cells activity. So it's going to increase the T cells on top of the natural killer cells. Um, but yeah, as you see, this one only supports the natural killer cell activity. So it's doing only one of those two things. But still, it's helping a lot with immunity and it's a very good um, supplement for that. Next one, NAC. Uh, I took NAC for my ovarian seeds, but it's a very good um, antioxidant and it's very good for immunity as well. And I think this also might have helped with the, you know, uh, radicals um, activities going in my body and increasing my immunity. So yeah, I'm gonna put it here as well. I don't know if it's as good as the other, but it definitely helped in my case. Um, also, some like similar to quercetin we have resveratrol and this is a supplement that um, they've done studies and they think that it's helping with rejuvenating your body so you know it's helping your body um, feel like you're younger than you are because it's kind of renewing the cells in your body so uh, it's also not it's not only good for immunity it's also good for you know um, maybe wrinkles or anything that comes with aging in general so again this is very good immunity supplement along with the quercetin usually they take them in uh, parallel and then curcumin and this is like a more soluble version of curcumin because curcumin you can't really um, absorb as well I mean none of the natural supplements in general because many of them will disappear in the um, you know acid in your stomach so you need to that's why you need to take higher amounts and longer time to actually see the effects so curcumin if you don't know it's whatever is coming from turmeric so it's pretty much turmeric uh, in these capsules and turmeric is very good against inflammation and immunity in general um, and it's helping a lot with viruses as well so you know covid flu any other viruses out there so I took some curcumin as well, and this is again is one of the best immunity boosters out there right now. Um, yeah, apart from all those, I did try to have a more um, vegetarian diet. Not all the time. I did eat some meat now and then, but I tried to be more careful about what I eat. Um, you know, and I also had uh, actually green tea. So I tried to have green tea every two days, if not daily. I'm making this green tea in, um, actually, you know, the coffee former. I just put, like, um, a teaspoon of green tea and then some coconut milk and then just stir that. And it dissolves all that green tea, you know, things you get in, in it if you try to do it with a fork. Um, so, yeah, I think... I'm not sure, actually, which one helped the most. I just put everything I took in the past few months here because I thought that, you know, maybe... It's gonna help you guys with increasing your immunity and if you don't go for all of them maybe try to see which one is best for you you know what what's lacking in your body maybe do a, um, a triva test and see you know what minerals you need what vitamins you need and choose the best ones um, and I recommend that to most of the people because you know you don't know what your body lacks until you do this mineral and vitamin uh, test and then you can help your body, you know, um, get this from all these supplements. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, all this is gonna keep my antibodies up for a long time. Um, 
I don't know. There's not many studies out there saying, you know, how this is going to influence you if you have more antibodies. But I think the idea will be that it's going to be there for longer. I know some uh, of my friends had only 80 antibodies after two weeks after the vaccine. I took this test um, 14 days after, similar to my friend, and he had 80 back then. And now um, it's been six months since he had the first two doses. And um, looks like he's now having 21 so it went down by more than a half, um, and I hope that with 2,500, you know, in six months, I'm still gonna have around 1,000 left in my body, but who knows, maybe I'll do another test in six months and see where we stand. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped you guys, give you an idea on, you know, immunity supplementation. There is a lot more out there, this is just what I took. You know, you can't, and it's not even recommended to take too many because you don't know how they can, you know, counteract um, each other. I don't know the side effects that can create. Um, but yeah, this worked for me. And, you know, if if you want to try this yourself, maybe find a naturopath, maybe see which ones of these are best for you and give it a try. And I think this is good to do, not only because of COVID, but because we need them. Like, there's so many viruses and bacteria out there that our bodies cannot cope with them on their own. So, you know, we need to take care of our health. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped you guys and um, I guess see you next time. Take care and have a nice weekend. Bye!